What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I apologize, my smart mic, I wasn't smart enough for it, because um, the last stop we had on the trip, I had put it in my swimming trunk side pocket. So I was like, oh, so that way if the music's loud, I can use my smart mic. And unfortunately, I forgot about that when I got in the pool. And so I killed my smart mic. I've actually ordered another one. So the sound quality, you're probably hearing the fish pond and occasionally the frogs and stuff like that. So my apologies. I'm not smart enough for a smart mic. So <laughs> here's an interesting thing that's going on. It's crazy how running backs are getting screwed this year. Um, you're seeing running backs that are getting released or asked to make trades and so on and not getting paid more than any other position. You've seen more running backs franchise tag this year than any other spot. Zeke Elliott, let go. Um, Dalvin Cook yesterday, let go. Um, Derrick Henry, seek a trade. Austin Eckler, seek a trade. Saquon Barkley was offered a $12 million deal. He turned that down, and he got franchise tag. And so far, we don't hear anything about any contract negotiations for him. Um, Zeke, $16 million, gets cut. Hasn't found a home yet. Um, Tony Pollard, he got the franchise tag, and he ran. And sign that sucker. He's like, nah, I'm ten million dollars, a lot of money. I'm gonna take that. But when you think about him getting paid the same as Barkley, now I give Barkley a whole lot of crap and everything else because he's a New York Giant, and you know how I feel about New York Giants, except for Rasheed, and I'll get to Rasheed in a minute. Josh Jacobs. Now see, Josh Jacobs. The Raiders decided not to pick up his fifth-year option, but they did put the franchise tag on him, which is, you know, the $10 million. And so he looks at that like, basically, okay, so you're just going to run me into the ground and give me this and just let me go. The problem for running backs is the running backs that have gotten the big bag of money have – not gotten for more than two years of that money. Typically, with running backs, year number four, on average, okay? That's not every case. There's an Adrian Peterson out there, and Frank Gore, and guys like that, and Emmitt Smith. But for the most part, year four is about the peak of the running back. That is, if they've been a workhorse, you know, like Zeke and things. And after that, their production starts going off. The Rams, of course, they signed Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley was incredible for about his first four years. After that, he started getting an arthritic knee and just kind of tailed off and was basically becoming a journeyman and on his way out of the NFL. So teams have now realized that, putting high draft picks on a guy who basically is only going to be there for about four years, and you've realized it doesn't pay to pay running backs big contracts. It doesn't. Now, so far, the 49ers have actually gotten a lot out of Christian McCaffrey. But Christian McCaffrey, after signing his deal, was injured the next two years. Are you confident that Christian McCaffrey is going to make it through a whole season this year? I'm not. And so Josh Jacobs basically has not signed his franchise tag and says, at some point, you have to make a stand. And it's more than just him. It's literally, they have, the NFL has crapped on running backs. And running backs, you know, I think kickers get more love now than running backs. And that's a fact. I think for the first time, maybe in the history of franchise tags, that the franchise tag price will go down. Seriously. There's no way it doesn't go down. 
It's the average of the top five. Well, Dalvin Cook drops out of there. Zeke Elliott, he drops out of there. I think Christian McCaffrey is the highest paid running back right now. And I think everybody else is franchise tagged to $10 million. Prove me wrong. I, I may be wrong. Well, Derrick Henry may. Derrick Henry might be more than that. Derrick Henry would probably be the only other one. That's it. And you think the Titans really want to hold on to him? Apparently not. So, I get it. I understand it, but it's still not fair. You think about one of the most abused positions. You're talking about small guys that are carrying the rock that literally have the 300 plus guys that he's got to run the gauntlet through. And if that's not good enough, then you got the linebackers and then the Lord help you with the safeties coming through to clean up. Your life expectancy is short and it sucks. But um, you have to make the most of your opportunities when you have a chance. It feels good to be back home, although I've had to, my shower here has got a leak in the shower pan, so I may have to rip it out and start all over. But I did do it about 20 years ago, so um, I guess it's time for a little remodel. I went today, I found out while I was on the cruise about Rashid. Um, Rashid has diabetes, type 2, and it's one of those things that you really have to take care of. And he had had an infection in his pinky toe some time ago and had that toe amputated. Unfortunately, the infection spread further and they had to amputate a couple more toes. Along with that, he has kidney issues as well. And so, she's been going through, you know, a rough period of things and hasn't been able to keep up with his treatment of things. And he's in the hospital now. He's doing better. The infection is okay. He's, his foot is one of those things that he has to take care of it and the dressings have to be changed and the doctor's care has to be looked at on a regular because the infection in there, if it spreads enough, could end up being the foot being amputated and so on. And he's got to be able to keep his diabetes in control by eating right and doing the right things and stuff. And has been unable to do all that stuff and he's in a bad financial way. I have started a GoFundMe for him. We went by and saw him today and we're going to do everything we can to help him. Um, he may be getting out of the hospital in a few days and we're working on finding him a place to go. And so that's where we come in as a family and a community to try and look out for others. I know if I were in a similar position, I would love for people to help me. In fact, I can look back and say, I've been through some hard times, and thank God my parents were there to help me to kind of rebuild and start over. And that's where I always feel like you pay it forward. There's so much hate and animosity and so on that, you know, the tiniest things will set people off. And I almost feel like some of the problem I think is everybody gets a trophy. And you're probably saying, what? Everybody gets a trophy. It's okay, Johnny. You, you, you couldn't. You weren't very good in football, but you get a trophy there, buddy. 
that we've gotten to the point where we have spoiled the kids and the spoiled kids have grown up to be spoiled parents or spoiled adults and they expect to have everything exactly the way it's supposed to be for them and when they don't get it they throw a tensor tantrum and with a tensor tantrum can sometimes be with guns I'm trying to be different than that, that person that's just hating. I'd rather look out for people than to step on them. And that's why I try and look out for people. From Stuart to she. I try to be a good person and a good citizen. So, I'm going to keep on trying to do that. No matter what people say or try and do or try and hate on you, there's goodness out there. And there's a lot of good people out there. And I'm trying to be one. So, we will be giving away. I've got a lot of stuff in there that's autographed. I know I've got, uh, uh, like, the Joe Barty that's signed by Mr. Cowboy. I know I've got. Uh, Randy White and DeMarcus Ware autograph stuff and Tony Dorsett. So, I'm going to be giving that stuff away. Basically, if you end up making a donation to help out Rasheed, I will be doing giveaways of that stuff for everybody who makes a donation. Got to help my friend out. So, remember, tell the people you love, you love them. But you might not get the chance again. And I love you guys. And um, I appreciate you. God willing, I'll see you tomorrow.